Greetings, food surfers. I'm Eric Surf Six. Welcome to Eric Meal Time. And in this very special episode, we are here at the department store to pick up our New Year's feast. Got my receipt here. I'm number 666. That's my lucky number. Let's go get some. They open at 10 o'clock, so we got about three, four more minutes. Beautiful, beautiful flowers for New Year's. All of these are New Year's flower decoration arrangements. Very colorful. Alrighty, we got the goods. Wait. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Let me think about what I'm gonna say. Alrighty, I am starving. You guys ready to get started? Let's do this. First, I gotta get changed. Hang on, hang on a second. Ta-da! We are back. Yes. Take a look at the kimono. How's it look? We went for gold this year. Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, Reiwa Gonen Akimashite Omedeto Gozaimasu. Happy New Year 2023. First things first, let's open the boxes, shall we? Let's get into these beautiful Osechi boxes. I think there's four of them this year but it feels very heavy, heavier than it did in the past. So we've got some chopsticks here, special New Year's chopsticks. There they are. Okay. This is what was so heavy. Got these big ice packs inside. Comes beautifully packaged. Here is what's on the menu. And there are a total of four boxes and 50 items. 50, oh my goodness, 50 items. We're gonna be here for a while. Beautiful wrapping. Oh, this is great. This is great. Okay, oh, they're nice and chilled. Okay, ready, I'm gonna open the box. There's box number one. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous looking. It's wrapped a bit different this time, huh? 
Box two, three, four. There they are. Some roast beef sauce there on top. So let's do a kampai, shall we? A cheers with some golden sake. Gold in here. I'm gonna shake this up and show you the gold. Look at that, huh? How about that? There's gold in that there bottle. Beautiful gold flakes. All right, let's do this. So what are we drinking to? Peace, prosperity, and pickled peppers. To you, team get some. Oh, that's a creamy sake. Oh, very pleasant, smooth. And incoming, we have, this is called the Otoso which is a special New Year's sake that's got special herbs and spices inside the pot. And you get a choice of three different cups to drink from. Let's go for the big one, shall we? Oh, beautiful presentation. Kampai. Ooh, this is a sweet sake. Mmm. It's fruity. Tasting cinnamon. Oh, it's good. It's like a liqueur. Very nice. So it is traditional to start with the ozoni soup. And look at this. There's crab inside here. It's gorgeous looking. Beautiful. And the ozoni refers to the rice cakes that are down below in the bottom somewhere. So let's try the soup first. It's a clear broth soup. Very pure. Mmm. Got a little bit of salmon here. Let's have a bite of that. Whoa, that's nice, tender salmon. Wow, it's a goodies in here. Got carrots and onions. Let's show you the crab here. Get it out of here. Is there two crabs? Oh, fell apart. There's the crab. It's going for a little bite of that. Oh, love me some crab meat. Yeah. And oh, here's some bamboo shoot here. Potato. Look at that. Crunchy green pea. It's got everything. It's got a daikon radish. Mmm. Where is the mochi? There is no mochi. Gotta find it, it's like a treasure hunt. There it is, finally. It was over on the other side, all the way on the bottom. Okay, here we go, introducing the pounded rice. Oh goodness, don't play with it, eat it. Mm. Oh. Gotta be careful you don't choke on 
and the pounded rice happens every year. Savor it. Chew it before swallowing. Have it with the soup. Oh, fabulous. Okay, so before we get into the Osechi boxes, we're gonna do a sashimi course here. Looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Oh yeah. And please allow me to show you the show you. Yes, there it is. Let's get this prepared. Ooh, it's a dark show you. Good, the way I like it. Nice. And also some wasabi. What's up, what's up, wasabi? It's New Year's, I get to do all the old gags right from the top of the year. Yeah, that's, that's the rule. Wasabi. Love me some wasabi. And I think we're gonna start here with the tuna. We've got two types of tuna. This is the akami, the basic. Is that where I'm gonna start? Yeah, that's where I'm gonna start. Definitely put some wasabi on that. And oh yeah, let's pick this up. It's a little bit easier if you've got the dish and the fish close to your mouth. Mm. Oh, wow, that is fabulous. And that's just the basic drayed tuna. Oh goodness, very nice. Next up, we've got some squid or ika. Beautiful color on this squid. Oh yeah, it looks fabulous. Squid is very slippery. It's tricky to pick up with chopsticks. Mm. Oh my. Oh, it's creamy. A little bit chewy, but not too much. Very nice, very nice, very smooth. One of my favorites here is the sweet shrimp or amaebi. And you can eat, eat these whole with the tails, definitely. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And there is a little sweetness to them. Yeah, very nice. One of my favorite types of shrimp, especially sashimi style. And of course, we've got the salmon here. Love me some salmon. Oh yeah. This meal is just, it's so grand. Oh goodness. Probably the grandest meal I eat every year. Yeah, unbelievable. Moving along, this is the hamachi, or yellowtail. Also called amberjack, I believe. Mm. I'll tell you what, the quality of the fish is just better on New Year's. It just is for some reason. And it's not any more expensive than it is at other times of the year. Why is that? It's a mystery. And I saved the best for last right here. This is my all time favorite. It's called Otoro. Maximum fatty tuna, maximum wasabi. Some people say, Eric, don't put so much wasabi on that because it kills the taste of the fish. And those people are right. Let's do it with none at all. Just show you. Just to show you. Oh, fabulous. Oh, I feel like I'm not worthy. Okay, so there it was, the sashimi course. You guys get in there. I'm not gonna eat all this. So you guys have a chance to dig in there. So these fancy wooden boxes are called jubako and 
they're numbered one through four. So let's start with the first one, shall we? Which is this one. This is called Issei Ebi or Spiny Lobster. It's just a tiny little guy, but. Oh, it's perfect. Be very careful when you twist so you can get the most meat out. Oh, jackpot. We got all of it, including the brains there. That's the best part, that dark part. There we go. Spiny lobster. You don't get much. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is meaty. Mm, just love that texture. Oh, it's good. Very fresh. Very fresh. I want more, more. Let's get the rest out of here. Oh, that is good. This is the octopus here. Beautiful octopus legs. Look at that. Look at the tentacles. Love me some octopus, and it's going to be in a sweet sauce, I think. Mm hmm. Oh, just right. Not too chewy. That's the thing with octopus. Sometimes it's chewy. This is really the dessert here, but I don't want to miss it. Candied walnuts. Oh. Oh, those are good. Mmm. The walnuts are so soft. Bit of crunch. Mmm. Very nice. We've got some vegetables here. This is the texture of this is called neba neba, which is the gooey texture in Japanese. I used to hate it, now I love it. Mmm. Oh yeah. Don't be afraid of the gooey texture in Japanese cuisine. This looks like konyaku here, type of potato. Mmm. Oh, it's nice and fresh. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that. Moving on here to the tofu. This is yuba tofu, which is the tofu curd. It's a really concentrated tofu. Mmm. Oh, yum. And you can see it's rolled here. Probably need to get in close to see that. It's rolled like this, which is really nice. Yeah. Okay, let's just eat it, not play with it. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Oh, yeah. Okay, and next up are the beans. The beans compartment here, the black beans are kudo mame. It's got some of the gold flakes on top too. And the black beans symbolize health. So you see these everywhere around New Year's. You gotta be healthy. Mm. It's a sweet bean, really flavorful. Oh, it's good. Could eat these all day. I wonder how healthy they actually are. Because <laughs> they're so sweet. Yeah. Okay. Moving on here to the little presents. Get that wrapped in a leaf. Nice, it's really soft leaf. What's inside? Oh, pounded rice. And maybe some Anko bean paste inside there. I can just do this, this is finger foods. You can see the bean paste inside there, the dark. Mmm. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good, it's good, it's good. And we got a lot of desserts like that coming up. Yes, we do. 
Here's another one. This is fancy, isn't it? These little dongos. Got the pink and you got the white. Lovely. Like little marshmallows. <laughs> okay. And this here is persimmons. It's a dried persimmons. Maybe that's cheese inside. I'm not sure. Interesting. Oh, -ho. it's more like a cake inside. Wow, that's good. I think that is cheese. Yeah, and the persimmons, it's got a bitterness to it. They go together really well. Yeah, nice. And here on the bottom, we've got some sawada fish. And it's over this salad here. Let's do the salad first. Ooh, vinegar salad. Mm-hmm. And the sawada's in the vinegar too. It's cooked fish. I like this. Mm-hmm. So I believe this is daikon radish, crunchy daikon radish and carrots. Mm-hmm. We've got some kombu here, kelp, seaweed. With something inside, I'm not sure, I'll let you know. Oh, it's fish in there. Also with the vinegar flavor. And the kelp, kombu maki, refers to happiness. If you eat kelp seaweed, you'll be happy. So there you go. The first time I ate kelp seaweed, I was not happy. But maybe you will be. Eventually. Moving on to box number two. Oh, this is another gorgeous box. Look at the variety. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. We'll start right here with the burdock root, the gobo, which I love. It's got sesame seeds on it too. Mm. Gobo root is so wholesome. Gotta love it. Oh yeah. And then these are little baby sardines, dried and sweetened. Mmm. Wow, so flavorful. This is called kikan, or I forget the English, kikan. It'll come, it'll come to me in a minute. Kumquat, that's what it is, kumquat. Oh, how do I describe it? <laughs> it's tart, bitter. You can eat the seeds, but it's got a sweetness too. So bitter and sweet at the same time. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. We've got Ebby here, which means long life. You eat the shrimp, you get long life, longevity. Okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. Nicely flavored. Oh boy, wow, I did that well. It's got a nice kind of saltiness, savoriness to it. Very good. Okay, and over here is the Kamaboko fish cakes, colored white and pink to represent the sunset. The sunrise, excuse me, not the sunset. The New Year's sunset, the New Year's sunrise. I said it again. Okay, going in. Mm. 
just like a car tire. Mm -hmm. But a sweet, delicious car tire. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Next up, we got the Kudi chestnuts. It's in a really sweet bean paste. So sweet chestnuts. Look at that, gorgeous. Oh, so good. Dessert-like. Wow. It is a dessert. Goodness. So good. And in the middle here, we've got abalone, two abalone shells with lots of meat. Love me some abalone. Mmm. Some meaty seafood. It's my favorite of the shellfish for sure. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Very chewy. Mm hmm. And it looks like we got some clams here and some salmon roe. Is that right? I'll let you know. Mm hmm. Oh, the texture. Every every one, the texture is a bit different. This one's got a it's got a crunchy texture. Mm hmm. But nice. It goes together well with the creamy salmon roll on top. It's nice to get them together. You get crunchiness. You get creaminess. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Then over here, we've got some more fish roe. This is a herring roe. It's called kazunoko. That symbolizes fertility. Uh -huh. Crunchy goodness. Mmm. Oh, my gosh. It's like the Pop Rocks. It's popping in your mouth. You just got to keep chewing it and chewing it. It's got a nice savory flavor. It's good. Yeah, I didn't used to like it, but I do now. Let's see if there's something underneath here. Yeah, we've got a little secret compartment here underneath both of these. So it looks like some gooey seaweed. Mmm. Everything is just flavored so nicely and different. It's fabulous. Every single thing has got a different flavor. Some more seaweed products. Let's call them sea plants, shall we? Sea plant products. Mm-hmm. Which is appropriate. Because the fish is served on top. I like that. Yeah. These ones are much more pure. I think I like these better. There's some ice in the bottom there to keep it chilled. Mm hmm Not fishy. It's good. People say that about seaweed. Oh, Eric, it's too fishy for me. This seaweed is not fishy. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Looks like some more fish over here. I'm not sure what kind of fish this is. The mystery fish. Mm -hmm. It's in a vinegar. Interesting. This is a good fish. It's got a distinct chewiness to it. Yeah, interesting. And then some large octopus here. Yeah, I like this. I like the big octopus. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's good. This is the perfect size. Oh, it's good. Look at that. Big chunks of octopus. Fabulous. Occasionally you'll find it almost this big in the takoyaki. When you get it this big in the takoyaki, dum the takoyaki dumplings, it's fabulous. 
Oh, so fresh. Not too chewy. All right, so it is official intermission time and I'm gonna show you some very special origami today. We're gonna take this little piece of paper here and fold it up into a cone, okay? So about like that, okay? Pretty good, right? <laughs> that was the easy part. And then we take this glass right here and put it inside the con, okay? And what I'm gonna do here is have a drink, okay? So green tea we've got. And let's see, to make it more interesting, let's, let's take the glass out of the con, okay? And if I hold it tightly here, if I can get my fingers all the way around the con, I believe, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me make sure I got the size of this right. That's, that's important. Okay, glass out. Yeah, that's the right size. Got to hold it just right. Okay, and now I'm gonna pour the green tea into the paper. And I think if I hold it just right, I can pull this off. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> oh, it's cold. Oh, it's really cold. Oh my gosh. Too much, oh, my hand's getting wet. Oh no, oh no, oh, disaster. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I think I gotta I put the cup back in. Back in, okay, and here we go. Uh, and here's the big finale. Happy New Year 2023, the year of the rabbit. How was that? Okay, so we are halfway through the Osechi boxes and I wanna show you the catalog here and how many different types there are. It's, it's incredible how many types of Osechi ryori you can choose from, Japanese New Year's food. And you can see that all of them come with the Jubako, you know, wooden or lacquered boxes. Okay. So many different types. And the prices range anywhere from, oh, they start at about $100. They go up to, I don't know, the sky's the limit. Like, for instance, that's 242,000 yen. That's like $2,000 for those three boxes right there. But they come in a nice china, beautiful china dishes. And the one that I've selected with the four boxes is this one right here. Okay, and the price for this is 22,000 yen. So yeah, reasonable, less than $200. Pretty, pretty reasonable, I think. Okay. Oh boy. So the, the thing with these kimonos is that you got this, it's called an obi, I think it is, and it's wrapped around you, and it's several layers. It's like one, two, three, it's like four layers around, and it's really tight. So you gotta stretch your back a little bit from time to time. And if you eat too much, then it gets even tighter. So let's, uh, if I juggled oranges recently, let's, we could, Loosen up a little bit with these. Here we go. Three oranges, mandarin oranges. Dun -dun. Oh, speedy. Woo. And we are rolling. Next box incoming. Check it out. I'm gonna go right in here for the crab. Looks like a crab cake, I guess. Crab fish cake. Mm-hmm. Pretty tasty. Mm-hmm. Tasting mostly fish, not so much crab. And what else here? We've got some little sea plant presents, kombu. 
That looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, rich kelp taste. Mm hmm. Makes you happy. Yes, it does. Nice thick kelp. Over here, we've got some hotate. What do you call these things in English? Hotate. Scallops. Mm hmm. Nice there to show you. Nice and soft. Delicious. Mm hmm. Over here, we've got some date maki, which is a mix of egg and fish cake. It's got a really fluffy texture. Mm -hmm. And this symbolizes scholarship or study. Got to always be learning something. Sweet, but it's got a dryness. Mm -hmm. Cake like. Mm -hmm. That's a mouthful. It just expands in your mouth. Good though. Yeah. Good dessert cake. And I believe this is some more of the sawada fish. Perhaps prepared in a different way. Mmm. Oh, it's nice. It's in vinegar. But I guess the sawada fish preserves for a fairly long time. As with all these items, you can keep this food around for two, three days without it going bad. So that's the, uh, that's the idea, keep this food for a while. This I believe is a, <laughs> a peach, a peach, a mini peach. It's interesting. We've got another one of the kumquats here. Uh, let's go over here to the meats. This is duck meat here, which is my favorite. I love me some duck meat. I love the fattiness of it. Mm. The richness of it. Duck has got a very distinctive flavor. Yeah, the oiliness of it. Oh, you gotta love it. And we got some pork here right next door. It's nice. Glistening pork. Oh. <laughs> the pork's a bit tougher. Not very flavorful. Okay, and we got the snails here. I've had trouble with these in the past. We've got a mini and a giant. Which one do we do? Well, we gotta do the giant. The trick with these is getting them out. You gotta finesse them out. It comes with skewers, but still sometimes you don't get the whole thing in one go. Okay, come on, come on. Come on, Oh, oh, oh. oh epic fail. Yeah, it's not coming out of there. No, it's not. Oh, I'm going to have to crack this later. All right, we'll just do this a little bit. Epic fail. Sorry about that, guys. But actually, this is really all I wanted to eat. Oh, oh. Got some crunchiness of the shell. <laughs> oh. Double fail. Okay. And let's see over here. We got another one of the little mini peaches. And the kumquat again. Got some salmon here. Look at that. Oh. Hmm. It's marinated in a really interesting sauce. Like a miso, I think. That's really good. Very nice. Yeah, miso, I think. Very nice. And then here we go, kombu again, the kelp. 
with some fish in the inside. It's a lot of kelp. Are we happy? I'll wash it down with some gold sake, shall we? Yes, we shall. Mm-hmm. Beautiful gold. Go for the gold. You can see it in the cup better. That's pretty. Yeah. Cheers to you, team. Get some. Let's hope for a great year, shall we? Mm. All right, here we go with the final box. Looking good. Looking good. Let's start here with, I believe this is chicken, and that's gobo root inside there with carrot. But is it chicken? Not 100% sure. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Nice flavor. What's underneath here? There's some more gobo root. Kind of the shredded type. Mm. Love me some gobo root. Mm-hmm. It's going to show you. Nice. Over here, we've seen these two before, but now we've got mushrooms, a bunch of shiitake mushrooms. Let's go for this big one here. Shiitake mushroom is probably the most popular mushroom in Japan. You see them everywhere. Mmm. Mmm. This is perfect. Mmm. You gotta chew it to savor it. Mm-hmm. Spongy. Not too earthy. It's got a sweet show you taste. It's good. Speaking of sweet, here's some sweet potatoes here. My favorite potato for sure. Yep. Mmm. Very sweet. Amazes me how they can be so naturally sweet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what do we got here? We've got four beach balls. Lovely. Love the shape and color. It's mochi. Pounded rice. Mm. Not too sweet. Mm -hmm. Got some bamboo shoots here. Bamboo shoots. Mmm. Nice. Salty. Okay, and we've done these before. We can do another one. I think this is konyaku. Yep. Mm hmm. Jello like. Okay. Got some beef here. Tricky to pick up with the chopsticks. Mmm. Full of flavor. Wow, it's a mouthful of flavor. What is that marinated in? Goodness, that is delish. Very good. Coming over here, chestnuts. Naturally sweet, mm -hmm. nice and soft, tasty. Speaking of sweet, I believe this is a sweet fish. That's why it's served, they're served together in the same compartment to keep that flavor going. Mm-hmm. 
I've had this before. Don't know what kind of fish it is. It's good. Oh, really good. Mm hmm. And in case you're wondering, these are served at room temperature. So, I mean, everything is cold, but it's delish. It does not need to be heated up. I wouldn't heat up any of it. It's designed to be eaten just like this. And it's really good. Okay, we've got one more item. Not the sake. It's in the middle right here. And this is the roast beef. And the roast beef comes with the sauce. So, let's hit it. And roast beef is kind of a delicacy in Japan. Depending on the, the different cuts of it that there are. It's definitely a delicacy. Okay, going in. It's rolled up. Shall we unroll it? It's going to be thinly sliced just to see the color a little bit better. There we go. Oh, I would say that's, oh, it's, there's a bunch of the sauce. So I'd say that's definitely medium rare, maybe rare. Oh. What? That is some fabulous beef. And that sauce is so tangy. Oh, that is really good. I mean, some of the best roast beef I've ever had. Fabulous. Can we do another bite of this? Mmm. Oh. So good. So good. Dessert is served, everybody. Where shall we start here? Well, let me explain first. These four right here represent, this is ume or plum. And then that is take or bamboo. This is matsu or pine tree. Does it look like a pine tree? Looks like a shell. And then of course we've got the rabbit. It's the year of the rabbit, everybody. Yep. And then over here, we've got the Tsudu, which is the crane in origami, the number one origami shape, which represents a thousand years of long life. And next door here is the turtle, Kame, which represents 10,000 years for your long, long, long life. 10,000 years, who'd wanna live that long? Me, let's get into it. Comes in a nice little paper holder here. We can do it. Okay, ready? Going in for the hard shelled, the soft shelled, soft shelled <laughs> turtle. And this is, uh, it's all mochi based. All mochi, which is, of course, the New Year's food, pounded rice. Mm hmm. Inside, we've got the sweet red bean paste. Gotta love it. And the tsudu, going in, beautiful. Mm. Same filling. Mm -hmm. The rice is a bit sticky. I think we should be using chopsticks. Yeah, definitely. Let's use chopsticks for this. And this mochi is very sweet and not so chewy. Not as chewy as the standard mochi that's not sweetened, that's in the ozoni in the soup. Yeah, this is definitely dessert style. Lots of sugar added. Okay, so we'll start with the ume plum. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It doesn't taste like a plum. It's good though, nice and sweet. The pine tree. Mm. I'm trying to picture in my head a, a pine tree, what it would taste like. 
would be sappy. Yeah. So basically there's not much difference in flavors. Oh, this one looks like it's different though. It's got a glaze on top of it. So this is definitely gonna be different. It's covered in something. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's covered in a jelly or jello. Nice, changes up the texture. And we'll finish off this fabulous meal with the rabbit. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. Mm. Mm-hmm. No rabbit. Oh, yeah. It's got a pureness to it, the rabbit does. A silkiness. It's fluffy. Mm-hmm. Yes. So there it was, the Osechi Ryori in Japan once again. I think this is the fourth or fifth time I've done this. So it's always a blast. It is, it's a festive time. The food is top-notch quality. In fact, there's, there's no need to even think about rating this meal. It's automatically a full six, and it always is. There is so much attention to detail with the food, and everything is totally enjoyable. So I recommend if you have a chance to try the Osei Diori that you, you give it a shot. But you got to be here during a New Year's to do that, I think. Yeah, they don't sell it at other times of the year. So I'm doing a giveaway. I'm giving away three of my Get Some Snack Packs. If you're not familiar, there'll be a link somewhere on the screen. You can check out the goodies that I give away from Japan as my thanks for you watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. And moving forward in this year, I hope that you guys will continue to watch and support my channel. Thank you so much for that. So leave your comment down below and I will select three winners and announce them in the next Eric Mealtime video. So good luck, everybody. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading those comments. We'll see you in the next one very soon.